Welcome on in fellow tankers. My name is Vondel, the content creator here at World of Tanks, and this video is going to help you begin your journey in World of Tanks. We're going to touch on four key topics which will get you in a good habit in your journey. First, we'll start with an overview of the garage, covering the important areas. Next, I'll go over the basics of crew skills and what are recommended when first starting out. From there, I'll touch on the recommended XP path for most tanks and what modules to unlock before moving on to the next tier. Lastly, I'll recommend some T5 tanks to go for straight out of boot camp. Welcome to the garage. This is where you end up after finishing boot camp or when you log in for the first time each day. Let's go over the main sections to get accustomed to. In the middle of the screen you have the garage, which is what we're on now. The main other ones to focus on here are missions and the tech tree. Let's start with missions. Here is where you can take advantage of various special events and missions running in World of Tanks. For now, we'll focus on recruit training, which will give you a myriad of benefits for completing when you first start out. As you can see, hopefully you've finished boot camp and are on to briefing. If you click through, you can see the various rewards you'll get for completing them. Your goal for now should be finishing these missions and reaching your first T5 tank, which I'll touch on a bit later. Next up is the tech tree. This is where you can see all the tanks available for research within the game, as well as premium tanks highlighted by their gold cost underneath. This is where you can see the progression of your current tank line, as well as the tier 10 vehicles you'll finally unlock at the end of it. In the top right hand corner, you have your gold, credits and free experience. Gold is purchased from the premium shop, credits are earned in-game based off your performance, and free experience is slowly accumulated over time. In the top left we have the premium account section. A premium account increases the XP and credit gain you receive by 50%. As you can see there are a variety of options to choose from ranging from one day all the way up to 360 days for a year. Next to this is the premium shop which will open up a tab in your browser showcasing various premium vehicles and deals on sale. Lastly, down the bottom, you have your modules, equipment, shells, and consumables. And then to finish off, you have the tank carousel, which shows all the tanks you currently own. Now to finish off the garage, you'll notice your tank crew on the left-hand side of the garage. These are the crew members currently manning your selected vehicle. Each individual crew member affects your in-game statistics. The more skilled your gunner, for instance, the better your accuracy and aim time will be. For your loader, the quicker your reload time will be. And for your driver, your in-game handling will be better. And your commander brings them all together. As you can see with the free crew you got from boot camp, your commander already has six cents. This will alert you in-game via a light bulb when you've been spotted by the enemy team. Pay attention to this as it can be the difference between life and death on the battlefield. For now as you're just starting, the recommended option for crew skills is basically repairs. This will decrease the time it takes to repair damage modules in game like your tracks. Something that's highly recommended is to make sure you're bringing your tank crew with you along your tank journey. Once you unlock the next tank, you should right click and send your crew to barracks. This means that when you get to your next tank, for instance for me, the M3 Lee, you can then put them in there and train them ready to go. Next we'll focus on research paths. What I'll be giving you is a recommended overview of which progression paths you should take when unlocking tanks. First you want to start with your tracks. These increase the weight load limit and enable you to equip the heavier modules that you will unlock. After that you want to focus on your gun if it has no turret requirement, but if it does, like this M2 medium tank does, you want to unlock the turret and then the gun. After that your engine is generally recommended, which is what I'm going to research now. You can then click on it to purchase it for credits and equip it on your vehicle. Last up you want to research your radio, which increases your view range. After that, you can either finish off the higher tier radio or go straight for your next tank, which in my case is the M3 Lee. Now you know the basics, you'll want to work towards your first tier 5 vehicle. Tier 5 is a great tier to learn the game and the journey there is super enjoyable. 
If you pick the American tree from boot camp, like I did, you want to aim for the M4A1, aka the M4 Sherman. It's a fantastic medium tank with a great gun and leads on to an incredible medium tank line. If you've gone the German tree, you'll want to unlock the Panzer 4H. It's very similar to the M4 Sherman and leads on to either two of the German heavy tank lines or the German medium line. If you've gone the Russian tree, you'll want to unlock the KV-1. It is the stock standard T5 heavy tank that will equip you well for the IS heavy tank line. The biggest thing to remember when working towards your next few tanks is have fun and learn from your mistakes. Water tanks rewards patience, quick thinking and strategy. Don't drive straight down the middle of the map, instead go with your teammates, back them up, take shots at opportune times and help your team achieve victory. In our upcoming videos we'll be focusing on more important topics to become a better player, as well as our fortnightly Twitch streams on Thursday night from 5pm Sydney time. This is the best place to join us for some fun and pick our brains for any World of Tanks knowledge. This is Vondel, rolling out.